Eh, no sé si la puede ver ahí. Hello. Yeah, stop sharing yes. because the teacher is here. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, you can leave it just for the practice. Um, so, it's we nice. Can see this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's good that you could that you could go on with that because uh, Zoom was giving some problems. Hopefully, I'm crossing fingers that the first part was recorded and it's being converted right now for the for the session. And um, due to time, what I'm going to do is just to uh, move on to the next part, so we don't have any in case we have any, any inconvenience later. Okay, so we can just move on. Uh, with the review, and then we just have a little space for questions, right, and indications. So, uh, infinitive complements, can you see this right now on the screen? Yep. Yep, yeah. okay, perfect. So, uh, infinitive complements uh, has to do with the way that we normally express something. Uh, for example, uh, when somebody, when somebody asks you for a recommendation, right? Hey, what do you um, what do you think it's the best option to study right. English or to study French? Um, it's important to study. Is I think it's more important to study English than to study French, for example. Or somebody tells you, uh, "I feel sick." Mm. Do you think it's a good idea that I take, I buy medicines and I just start taking them? Mm, I don't think it, it is a good idea. It's a good idea to see a doctor, but not to buy medicine for yourself by yourself. So um, we use that beginning of the, with the article it and is. It is important. It is sometimes helpful. It is a good idea. So we normally use adjectives. For example, if I'm going to say the, the phrase in Spanish and you tell me in English, eh, es necesario poner atención en clase. It's necessary to pay attention at classes. It's necessary to pay yeah, attention yeah. in <laughs> classes. If you see, to pay attention. So we use the, uh, the, the article to and the verb in the base form. So, how do you say es obligatorio eh, tener una licencia para conducir? Es obligatorio. Aha, uh -huh. teacher, how do you say obligatorio? Yeah, how do you say obligatorio? Mandatory. It's mandatory to have mm. a driver license. It's mandatory to have driving a license. license to drive. Because in the, in Spanish, I told you, right? Tener una licencia para conducir, okay? So oh, I just say license to drive. But yeah, to have a driver's license is also a good option. Now, um, one more, one more. Uh, es esencial. Let, I'm going to say the complete sentence. Eh, yeah. Para aprender inglés es esencial practicar todos los días. To learn English. <laughs> Nobody wants to participate. To learn English. Learn okay. English. Yeah. English. It's essentially uh, yeah. to learn English. English. To practice English, to practice English. So to every day. Practice to practice every day. Every day. Every It is day. essential. Okay. So let's say I'm going to add a, a little phrase, right? Le voy a agregar una, una frasecita más ahí. Para aprender inglés, rápido, right? To mm -hmm. learn English. To learn English quickly. Fast. Faster. It is essential. Essential. To practice every day. It is essential to practice every day. So you have it in the chat. English has is, is essential to practice every day. Every day. So you can say it is or it's the contraction, right? Now, uh, 
we're going to do the exercise quickly. We have the problems and the advice. I say the problem, you tell me the advice. A, a sore throat, a sore throat. What is the advice, the recommendation? Drink a lot of liquids. Drink lots of liquids. No. Good yes. Good it works, it works, okay? Necessary to take some vitamin C. Vitamin the C. Vi the vitamin C is, vitamin, is essential okay. for okay. different problems. For example, the flu, right? Uh, okay. Now, let's go with a cough. <laughs> That's a cough. What is recommended? What is the advice? It's important to put some ointment on it. Okay, it's, it's more, more than one answer is possible, okay? More than one answer is possible. Más de, una, de, una, de un consejo es posible. Uh -huh. You sure? Uh, to see a, uh, get some medicine. Okay, uh -huh. get some yeah, medicine. Doctor. See yeah. a doctor now with the COVID nineteen, right? It's necessary to see a doctor if you have the cough. Uh, yeah. Backache, backache. Oh, I have a backache. What can I do? Give back. me advice, please. You are my doctors right now. You can uh, use a heating pad on it. Ah, it is bad. That would be like a compresa caliente. Yes. Uh, no. Yes, right? well, uh, you know, I say they sell uh, something like a towel, but. Mm -hmm. um, like a towel. And you connect on uh, with the. So the and this is yeah. hot. So, and if you go to some places, they sell like a bag. Like, uh -huh, like, like a, a bag, exactly. Bag, Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the other something, something hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, if I have a I fever, can show you if you want. <laughs> I have one. Sure. I have two. Nice. I need it. <laughs> so if I have a fever. <laughs> if you have fever. Drink lots of liquids. Take, mm -hmm. a, some, Take aspirin. some aspirin. Some aspirin. What else? Take a shower. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What? Cool maybe, I, maybe I can put some cold uh, of cool mats on my forehead, right? Maybe. Some <sighs> cold. Okay. Uh, what about a toothache? Ouch. A toothache. Uh, you need. Yeah, see a dentist. A dentist. You need yeah, to see a dentist. Best, uh, see a dentist. What else? See a go to the bed and rest. Go no. to go to the bed first, and rest. First one is maybe oh. see the dentist. And get some medicine, right? Get some medicine to get before some medicine. The yeah, because it's difficult to sleep with a toothache. Okay, now a bad headache. A bad headache. No es un dolor de cabeza mal. Ok. Cuando decimos bad, en este caso es grave. Ok. Un dolor de cabeza grave. Fuerte. Take some aspirin. Bad headache. Bad. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. I see, the see a doctor. See a doctor. Ok. Uh, Dream love of water. Go to bed and rest. Go to the bed and rest too. Go to bed and rest, yes. Okay, no cell phone, right? <laughs> okay, then we continue with a uh, burn. What can I do with a burn? Put, put some ointment on it. Put some ointment on it, correct. Okay. Um, I was cooking, I was cooking a maruchan and I got burned, right? So um, I can put some ointment on it. Okay. And maybe see a doctor, right? If it is something serious. And yes. uh, for the flu? Take some vitamin C, no. go to the doctor if it is COVID. <laughs> okay, you go to a doctor, and, nice. Uh, rest and uh, rest. take, take uh, liquid. Take some enough oh, liquids. Drink, okay. Drink a, drink a lot of liquid. Take a shower. A lot of liquids. Take a shower for the flu. Mm, not so mm. sure if that's yeah. a good idea. Maybe with cold with hot oh, water. With hot water. Right? Hot water, maybe. Mm. Take a bath with some lemon leaves or uh, 
hoja de naranja the, agria. I cut the <laughs> other say huge with the garlic. Ah, oh, jock. Jock is como yeah. bacala, right? Jock. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's disgusting. Yuck. It's disgusting. Jock. And I prefer guacala, but uh, I <laughs> now let's continue with the part B. So for this, we have a A, B, and C. It's just a, a quick conversation, right? Um, so what should you do for a sore throat? What should you do for a sore throat? From the drugstore. Yes. Yes. And it is And you can continue with the recommendations, right? With the advice. <laughs> okay. okay. So just for just for and pronunciation, and just for pronunciation, we are going to practice the problems because. Some of these problems, we don't have them in the first part. So, number one, a sore throat. A sore throat. throat. Sore throat. throat. Sore throat. 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 Sore throat. 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 A cough. A cough. A cough. Uh, we have cough. We have a backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. Fever. 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 Fever, okay. Fever. Toothache. Fever. Toothache. 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 El TH se pronuncia como una Z. We say toothache. 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 Um, burn. Number seven. Burn. 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 With A. Burn. 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 Um, and something else that uh, also that I, I was trying to remember, uh, how do you say temperatura in English? Temperature. 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 Correct. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We we'll continue with the next one. Now, uh, I'm going to ask for help to Jose Luis. Part. Let me check. Part A, pronunciation, right? What should you do for a fever? What should you do for a fever? It's important to take the last one. Okay, here, here is, here's a little trick, okay? Aquí viene las partes de los trucos del inglés, por lo menos americano, right? People from the United States, they do reductions. <laughs> Wait a second. Can I say okay. something? I hear, some, I hear some noise. Wait a second. I'm going to yeah. mute. Okay. Microphone. Make sure that your microphone is muted. Okay, good. So uh, they, they have reductions. So they reduce the sounds. For example, instead of saying, um, let's say, what about they make a linking sound and they say what about what a what about now in this case it's a linking sound when you say i have a lot of apples a lot of apples okay she's a she's a doctor she's a doctor so those are linked sounds when you connect one consonant sound with a vowel sound that's something to get more fluent and to be more natural when you speak. Now, in this case, we have reduction. That is when you uh, kind of omit the sound. For example, it's important to take, right? To, you say to, but when you listen to people speaking in English, native speakers, right, los nativos, they say, it's important to, ru, ru, like they say, like the T, they pronounce it like an, like an R, and they say, it's important to, to take, right? To take. It's a good idea to see a doctor. Uh, so they barely pronounce, apenas pronuncian el two. Uh, for example, uh, I gotta go, gotta go, I gotta go. So that's a, an informal reduction. Instead of saying, I have to go, they say, I gotta go, or I have to go, have, how to, how to go. Uh, so that's a reduction of the sound, and that happens here. 
what should it do for a fever? It's important to take some aspirin and it's a good idea to see a doctor. It's a good idea to see a doctor, to see a doctor. Like it's something really small, but that's the way that normally people speak in English in the United States, right? So discussion, we have difficult situations uh, because of time. Uh, I'm just going to ask you two examples. Okay, I will ask Isaura, what do you do when you feel stressed? What do you do when you feel stressed? In my case, I, I rest. I rest. Okay, you And rest. I drink uh, tea. Okay, oh. you drink tea. Excellent. Um, let's see. I'm going to continue with somebody who hasn't participated too much today. Jorge Alberto. Yeah, tell me. What do you do when it's 2 a.m. and you can't sleep? Oh, I grab, I, I grab um, to drink something, I don't know, maybe, okay. um, uh, how do you say, uh, pastilla? Peel, a peel, peel uh -huh. or, take a peel. Oh, a glass of water. A glass of water, nice. Uh, uh, Maybe a tea, a cup of tea, right? It's possible, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Brandy, what do you do when uh, you need to study, but you can't concentrate? I want to answer the first one. The first one? What do you do when you feel very stressed? I have a pushy bag and I have bicycle here and I have some leaves. <laughs> so the other day I almost broke because I really was stressful and I used the pushing bag, you know, like a box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that's a good idea. Just be careful. <laughs> Just be careful. Okay. Be careful with brandy. <laughs> She's no. Uh, no. Okay. Now we're going to continue. Um, this is just about containers. Okay. Uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Right. Bag. Bottle. Bag. Bottle. Bottle. Box. 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 Can. Box. Can. 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 Jar. 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 Pack. Pack. Uh, pack, 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 stick, 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 and tube, 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 tube. Um. Okay. So, and then you have the containers in the picture, right? So, for example, a tube of what? A tube of what? A tube. Tube. A tube of toothpaste. Tube. Of tooth tube. Paste. Uh, paste. Toothpaste. Okay, the pasta at the end is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, let's say a box. A box of what? A box of aspirin. Um, a, box of, a box of aspirins can be or? Uh, Bottle. How do you say how do you say puritas in English? Bandages. 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 Okay. So we have vocabulary here. Number one is toothpaste. Number two is aspirin. Number three, bandages. Bandages. Number four, shaving cream. Shaving cream. Number five. Tissues. 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 Las famosas tissues, right? Las toallitas. Number six, face mm. cream. Face, face cream. cream. Cough drops. Cough, Cough drops. drops. And the other end. The, the other, other end. end. Okay, for the other end, what container do you the use? Other end. 
a bag, a bottle, a box, a can, a jar, a pack, a stick, or a tube. A bar. Of the other end. No. Uh, That's a good no, it's just mm. stick. Jar. Jar. Stick. No, stick. stick. Oh, Correct. It's a stick. Oh. Yeah. Okay? A stick. Una barra de, de sorante, right? A stick of the other oh, end. Excellent. Okay. Like a what? <laughs> a stick. A spit stick. Uh -huh. You see, uh -huh. that's a good that's a good connection. Okay. Um, okay, so then you have uh, to do the matching, right? So uh, please, if you didn't do this, uh, please do it. Complete this exercise in your notebook uh, at home, right? You, I, when you have time, try to complete it just to match the container with the correct uh, complement. So tomorrow we can check this, okay? The containers. That's exercise number seven, page number 80, okay? Exercise seven, page 80. You do that little matching here. Now, uh, we have a conversation, but for this conversation, we're going to do something different, okay? We're going to do something different. I am going to assign you the conversation with a person and tomorrow, uh, we just practice, okay? So for this part, okay, let's see. I'm going to assign Brandy and Edma. Okay, you take notes. Okay, Brandy, Edma, okay. Uh, Melvin and Jenny. Okay, Melvin and Jenny. Yes, okay. So uh, Brandy, you are the pharmacist and... Uh, Edma, you are Mrs. Webb. Uh, Melvin, you are the pharmacist. And Jenny is Mrs. Webb. Nubia, mm, okay. you are the pharmacist. And Evelyn is Mrs. Webb. Jose Luis, you are the pharmacist. And you're going to practice with Jancy. She's going to be Mrs. Webb. Then Isaura and Norma. Okay, Isaura, you will be the pharmacist, and uh, Norma, you will be Mrs. Webb. After that, we have Jorge, Alberto, and Giselle. You, Jorge, you are the pharmacist, and Giselle is Mrs. Webb. Okay. Then Jesus with Silvia. Okay, Jesus, you will be the pharmacist, and Silvia, Mrs. Webb. Then, uh, who else are we missing here? Wait a second. Susana, you will be the pharmacist. And Oscar okay. will be Mrs. Webb. Finally, we have Edwin and Nelson. Okay, Edwin, you will be the pharmacist. Okay. And Nelson, you will be Mrs. Webb. Uh, we're missing, I think we're missing someone. I think it's Leslie, right? Leslie creo que falta. Um, <laughs> yes. No quiere que participe, teacher. No, se me escondiendo aquí en el chat. Vamos a ver. Okay, Leslie, uh, you will practice uh, the pharmacist, and I will be—I mean, I will be the pharmacist, and you will be Mrs. Webb. Okay, so I'm going to be your Perfect. partner for tomorrow. Okay. Okay, I will be the pharmacist. You are Mrs. Webb. Si alguien falta por cualquier cosa o no puede usar el micrófono mañana, solo practicamos con alguien más que ha hecho esa parte. Okay, so you okay. practice uh, at home, right? The, your part, your role. Hi, may I, okay, in this case, the conversation goes like this. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for, for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest to you a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? My goodness. It's really... <laughs> running out of energy, right? Three bottles. <laughs> so, uh, for scroll vitamin L, right? Now, we continue with um, the next one. With and, um, what? Sorry? For scroll with ginseng. With ginseng, okay. Now, 
this is the last part of the grammar, right? That is just about modal verbs. As you remember, we studied some modal verbs last week, and these are just some complements. So we have can, could, the pronunciation is could, you don't pronounce the letter L, so you say could, could and you don't pronounce the letter O, so you say could, may, could it's not my, it's may, for requests and suggestions. What are requests? What are requests? Any ideas? Leslie? What are requests? Que son las requests? No idea? Friend request in Facebook? When you have a friend request in Facebook or Instagram, que alguien le manda una uh, para Recordatorio. Solicitud. Mm, no solicito. 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 Ya ven, si tuvieran Facebook en inglés o ya, ya supieran que request es una friend request, una solicitud de amistad, right? So, you see, it's necessary to have things in English. Now, eh, so, solicitudes and suggestions is in Spanish. Sugerencias. Sugerencias. Excellent. So, in this case, we have can I help you or may I help you? The two are correct. But in this case, may is more polite. Okay, may is more polite. Es más educado, okay, más formal, may. Uh, may, I, may I help you? Or may I ask you a question, teacher? Um, then can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? So the three are possible when you ask for something, okay? Uh, for example, teacher, could I leave the class early today because I have an appointment or I have an emergency? Yes, no problem. Teacher, may I leave the class a little early today because I have an emergency? Or can I leave the class a little early today because I have an emergency? Okay, so in those, or an appointment, right? Una cita. Um, in this case, you can use the three of them, but the most formal uh, is may, okay? De los tres, may es el más formal. De ahí sería could, como possibility, right? And can, okay? So may, could are a little more polite, a little more formal, let's say a little than can, but the three are okay. Now, uh, what do you suggest or what do you have for dry skin? Now, let's talk about Salvadorian medicine. What do you suggest for, uh, for a flu, for the flu? Imagine that you work at, at, at a pharmacy or a drugstore. drugstore. What medicine do you recommend for a flu? Take a shower while... No, medicine, what medicine? Uh, uh, aspirin. Uh, First of all, viral grip. Okay, viral grip. Uh -huh. What else? There if I some, have, there if I have a, if I have a headache, vitamin C. Um, if I have a headache, take an aspirin. You can, you can take Tylenol. Cofal. Cofal is for Dolo cream. Uh huh. Mm. What else? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ice. There's one that is called ice. Marihuana. Mari no? <laughs> yeah, it, it is effective, right? It is effective. Now, uh, so we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, we're just going to uh, skip that one for a moment. And um, because of time, because of time, we're going to finish with uh, a quick role play. What is a role play? You have a role, I have a role, and we practice. We invent a conversation, okay? So um, who wants to volunteer? Who wants to volunteer? Raise your hand. It's improvising, right? Improvisación. Just an improvisation. Brandy. Okay, Brandy. And who, who, who? Somebody else? No? Okay. So you are a customer in a drugstore, and you need something for an upset stomach. 
and upset what? Stomach. Okay. Okay. So with, with I am the pharmacist. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, how can I? How may I help you? Uh, good night. Um, I'm really have a uh, stomach ache. Do you can? Would you like to recommend something because I don't have recipe and I can go to the doctor? Okay. Uh, is this something common? Something normal for you to have a stomach ache? No, I just ate something. Uh, Mm -hmm. It was seafood, and um, after that, yeah, I feel bad. You ate some chorizo, right? Okay, so my recommendation. <laughs> oh, <seafood>. for... <laughs> Excuse I'm me. Going to, uh, I'm going to. Rec I'm going to suggest you uh, a Pepto Bismol. That would be just for um, to make you feel a little more relaxed from your stomach, more um, relieved. Let's say. And I will also give you a pill, okay? A pill that might work for you. Uh, it's called intestinomycina. Um, it works for this kind of cases. But if you continue if with the with the stomach ache after some hours, I suggest you go to the to a doctor because it might be something more serious, like append appendicitis or something like that. You know. Do you think this will help me with the, I feel something like a diarrhea? Diarrhea. Yes, it can help you with zero. diarrhea. That's, 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 that's right. Okay. Um, okay. And yeah, so just uh, anything else? No, for the moment it's just that. Thank it's okay. You. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, class for Brandy, please. Excellent. Uh -huh. Now, <laughs> congratulations. Okay, so one more person to finish. One volunteer. I can participate again anyway. <laughs> Someone girl. Wait. Is I this, think Jorge uh, wants to participate. No, okay. Nobody <laughs> likes to participate. Jorge. Nobody everybody wanna learn. Yeah, Jorge. Nobody wants Tomorrow. To Tomorrow. Uh-huh. Okay, so for tomorrow, Jorge, for tomorrow you will have, uh, you need something for low energy, okay? Something for low energy. So uh, tomorrow you can tell me, okay? Okay, now. <laughs> A blue <Yeah>. pill? <laughs> My goodness, Randy, you're terrible, you're terrible. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't hear you. Uh, we're good. They are, me. they are going to, we're knows. going to stop the class here. We're going to stop Jenny the class. <laughs> okay. Now, I know, uh, I know. Another, another recommendation for another doctor. Okay. Um right now, we're going to stop with the review. With the review. Okay. So today is Monday. It's a day to relax a little bit. Um and remember what we were studying, right? In the previous week. So uh that will be all for today. Tomorrow, just as a heads up, as a heads up, come on Atlanta, right? We're going to be studying the, we're going to do the, the, uh, the beginning, right? The beginning of the lesson, section three, section three, that would be uh, on page number 86. And we're going to start with, may I take your order? So, yes, we are going to be talking about food and drinks and restaurants and more things related to that. So think about it, right? So uh, tomorrow we're going to check how much you know, how much vocabulary you know about food, about drinks, vegetables, fruit, and so on. Okay, ingredients, recipes, and also how you can Ask for food, okay? Uh, Brandy, question to finish. I know, it's just my hand. Ah, okay, perfect. So guys, that would be all for today. Have a great night and an amazing week. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to practice the conversation that we're going to have. And that's all for today. If you have any other questions, you can write in the chat, in WhatsApp, no problem. Okay, I'm here to help you. Good night. Good to see you. Goodbye.
Okay, if somebody wants to practice, can call me anytime. Okay, yeah, midnight, Brandy, anytime, no problem. Brandy, yeah. sunlight. <laughs> Night. Bye bye. Cheers.